<laughs> okay, I just need to settle down. I did not go in thinking it would look like that. The epicenter of the Loma Prieta earthquake would look like that. It was a spectacular scene to see. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Abby Fernandez and I'm here with our photographer for NBC Bay Area, Michael Horn. What's up, Michael? Just a lot of trees, it looks beautiful. We're out here, guys. We're right now at the epicenter of the Loma Prieta earthquake that happened October 17th, 1989. We rode a bike up here, then we hiked a little bit. So we're gonna take you through this video, guys, so you can see what the Loma Prieta epicenter looks like now. So this all started because of Sean. He had the brilliant idea that I bicycle ride along with Michael Horn, our photographer, to the epicenter of the Loma Prieta earthquake. He was like, but I don't think you'd do it, Abby. And I was like, is that a challenge, Sean? Because I will take it. I can do it. I can do this. Oh, it is way different with a backpack. Good morning. Good morning. Looking good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We get there to the forest. I mean, it looks pretty astonishing already, right? We're driving in. We started biking from there to where we would eventually start hiking. This drops straight off into a ravine right here. I don't even want to look. This is so pretty. And we also stopped a few times to record video because Michael was there recording video for our Bay Area Revelations Loma Prieta documentary. What used to be here was a sawmill. They brought a lot of the logs down here and chopped them up and turned them into boards for construction. And a cool thing, this road that we're on, uh, even though now it's a fire road, it used to be the rail bed for a rail system that went in here to the mill to get the logs and all that and bring them out to the ocean. And they used to put them on little trolleys, bring them down here, and throughout the whole park, you'll just run into these random rail beds with rails still on them. It's kind of cool. So they call it the Loma Prieta earthquake because basically the epicenter is on the slopes of the Loma Prieta mountain, which you can see all around the Bay Area. It's one of the highest peaks in the Bay Area. Definitely needed one of those e-bikes. <laughs> yes. I just wanted to get a sweet shot of you crossing the bridge. Oh, yay. See? Then we get to that hiking place, but before we get to that hiking place, no, actually, when we were at that hiking place, we met a resident that lives up the hill. He was there when the earthquake happened. My wife is in the front door holding a newborn baby, only like two weeks old, and they're shaking in the doorway, and, and I was remodeling the house at the time, so there was a back section that had old windows that I'd taken out, and they're falling over and crashing and breaking or <laughs> looking around, but and the house was originally built in 1928. So, you know, we've hardly even felt the tremor since then. So uh, it makes you a little nervous. We started hiking and it was it was a pretty nice hike. I mean, that forest is gorgeous. I think we hiked for another maybe 30, 40 minutes. <whistles> Guys, we've made it, we're here. This is the Loma Prieta earthquake epicenter that you're looking at here. All right, guys, so right behind me, Okay, I gotta be careful here, is the epicenter. There are tons and tons of fallen trees. There are big, huge tree trunks just laying everywhere. You can tell definitely that this was the epicenter of the Loma Prieta earthquake. It's just a crazy scene to look at and it's been 30 years, but I'm assuming not much has changed. So is this like a really popular like tourist area? Uh, tourist or forest? Tourist. Like yes. do people? Yeah, very popular because it's a preserved forest. Well, don't go next to me. I feel like oh, I'm going to crash into you. It's preserved and managed and maintained and made to look beautiful. <laughs> Didn't make it. All right, guys, we're on our way back. I feel like I've dominated this. Doing good. Yes. Yeah, because it's like easy downhill. Thanks so much for coming along this journey, Michael. It was it was awesome. You're the best. I'm glad that I could bring you up. Check it right. out. Up up top, Michael. All right. <laughs> Bye guys. Don't Take forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Ooh. Oh, oh man, I wish I was rolling for that. That was the first official dismount and almost I am tired. Certain death.